Shocky Gamer here. So today we're going to take a look at the Reload Bundle for Nintendo Wii. Now this bundle includes the Reload Game as well as the Extreme Assault Rifle. So first let's take a look at this box. So first off the bat the front of the box looks pretty cool. It's got the Reload logo up the top and of course in the background there there's all kind of guns and bullets and all types of gun theme type of stuff. Looks pretty awesome. Just there it says 1-4 to four players and going down it just says Includes game and extreme assault rifle. Moving over to the side, you get a glimpse of the actual assault rifle. It looks pretty cool. Of course, says first person shooter just there. And down the bottom here, it says extreme assault rifle, realistic firing sound effects, and detachable parts. So that is the front of the box. And of course, up the top there, it says for use with Wii. And the top of the box looks pretty plain. It almost looks like an ammo box, and it just says a reload. Same sort of thing with the side of the box, it just got some really cool bullet images there, and again it says reload. And again, same one to the other side, it looks like a handle for the side of the box sort of thing. Like an ammo box almost. That's the bottom. And you'll notice just there it says power wave. Should I try to get that better focus? Our power wave is the company that actually makes it. Our logo is just there. Turning over onto its back, on the back of the box it shows you a bit of screenshot of the game as well as points out the key features of the rifle. So up the top here it says, included game for Wii, extreme assault rifle for use with Wii. And then you're going here and it shows you a picture of the assault rifle and it says, fits Wii nunchuck, detachable stock, fully functional trigger, built in speaker, realistic rifle sound. Realistic assault rifle design including adjustable red dot sight. Compatible with other Wii shooting hunting games. Detachable magazine clip. Down there it says 4 player. And then just over here it gives you a little bit about the actual reload game. Split second reflexes, nerves of steel and total focus are just part of the what it takes to win in this fast paced pulse pounding package. Challenge your friends, grab your weapon into a world where speed and skill decide your fate. Just don't forget to reload. And here it shows some screenshots from the game. So that's pretty much the back of the box. There's nothing really further. So now let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at this controller. Okay, so it comes packaged like this, and what I'll do is I'll just pull everything out, and then I'll go piece by piece of what's included. Okay, so this is what you get included, so you get all the parts for the Extreme Assault Rifle, and of course you get the game. So let's start with the game first. So the game is called Reload, and it's basically a first person shooter. It's the back of the case. Again, same sort of information on the back of the box. You get the standard stuff, you get the disc, of course you get a manual in here as well. Goes through controls. Now going into the assault rifle. So you have a lot of different options here of what you can actually install into the rifle. On its own, this is what the gun looks like, and of course, as always, you can use it just like this if you don't want the extras on. So this is more like a handgun, or I suppose you could call it a shotgun if you want to. That's what it looks like. Back of it. Front of it. And of course, in this little compartment up top here, that's where you put uh, your Wiimote and just here you put your nunchuck. So that's what it looks like on its own. Now when you start installing the parts, um, for instance you've got the red sight dot design here, 
so it's got like a little dot on it clear you can install it on here and that way you can actually use it to aim and it lines up pretty much close to the site so you could use it if you wanted to you don't really have to it's there mainly to look good I guess but it is optional you can use it the next thing you can um, you've got the barrel of a gun here and you can just install that and when you install it that's what it looks like so just a really simple kind of barrel just plugs in next thing of course you've actually got a stock here and if you press this that comes out so you can have it at different lengths you just set it to what length you want it to and it clips into place so if you want it the longest you just do that and of course to connect that inside there you can see there's a little mechanism and there's a little switch on top you slide that up you hook that in and then you slide this back over and sometimes it takes a little pull it out a bit because you've got to get it just right to get it aligned so now that's aligned in there and of course you pull that that way to basically unconnect it again so you can pull this out but like I said before you can do this to make it smaller or bigger so that's the maximum size just there and that's what it looks like with the stock on it so looks pretty cool other side and now of course the last part of it is this magazine clip now you notice there are two battery slots in there which I'll get to in a second um, but if you just want to install the magazine clip just like it is um, you just put it into there and clip it into place and that's what the fully rifle assembled looks like so it looks pretty cool it looks like an assault rifle and it's got pretty cool color scheme the white and blue go very nicely together it looks pretty awesome so it's a pretty cool assault rifle now how do you install the Wiimote and nunchuck well let's grab the Wiimote and nunchuck here so first off to install the Wiimote up the top here this un unfolds like that so it gives you a nice big compartment there where you can install the Wiimote and you kind of just push it in and align it up to those grooves there's actually grooves there stopping it moving backwards and of course this you can just stuff in there so it's out of the way now with the nunchuck same sort of deal just in the back here you unclip this and also while I'm here just be careful with these clips inside here Probably the weakest point of this gun is these clips here um, and if you don't close it right you could pro probably break those if you were too forceful with it um, but that is probably the weakest point otherwise it's pretty good quality so just be careful when you're loading the nunchuck in here okay so to load the nunchuck all you do you take your cable first off and I'll try to see if I can get this I don't know if you can there's actually a hole in there going up there and through there you can probably see it better down there now all you need to do is take this and thread it up through that hole and grab it from the other end pull it up and of course take that and plug it into your Wiimote and then from there you just have to pull this excess cable up through there And then in there there's actually a cable groove and what you also have to do um, which is very hard to get this in camera shot so just to show this I'm um, just to show this I'm gonna pull the stock off just so I can show you um, in there there's that little you can see a little uh, like almost like a white bit there it's almost like a thing that's what you really need to put your cable onto so you need to try and get the cable onto that down put that in there also get it long enough so you can do this thread it on that part thread it through that groove just there down there into that little section and make sure it's just sitting on that ledge up top there 
And the reason you're doing this um, to get it perfectly right is because um, if you don't, those buttons back there won't hit the buttons on the back of your nunchuck. Okay. So you're putting it there. You're clipping it shut. And then of course from this angle you can just take the cable here and put it into that gap there so it's all nice and neat. And then when you're done, you can just close this up. Close that up. And then that's ready to go with that loaded. And of course we can put this back in now. Alright, so that's fully loaded now with the nunchuck and Wiimote in it. Looks pretty awesome. Now, of course, the nunchuck, you can pull your trigger here. You can use the nunchuck just like normal. And then to press the C and Z buttons on the nunchuck, you press these buttons here. So pressing that will press the C button on the nunchuck, and pressing this one will press the Z button. And if you want to see that, let's pull this out for a second. Um, you can see the mechanism there. really easy to press those buttons so I'll just put this nunchuck back in here and reorganize that cable because um, you can see how potentially that cable can get in your way um, if you don't align it the first time around if you align it the first time around you're not going to have a problem with it um, but if you don't align it you may have problems with it um, not pressing the button right so they probably could have thought that cable design may be a little bit better um, but overall it does it's, it works okay once you've got it aligned, you don't usually have to worry about it. There we go. So once it's aligned, you don't have to worry about it. It's good to go, it won't move. Um, and the buttons seem to work fine. Now moving over onto the Wii mode here. Uh, you can access all the functions up the top there. But of course the trigger here will actually trigger the bottom of the Wii mode just there. So if we do this and we pull the trigger, you can see that moves. So that is pa basically pulling the B button on the bottom of the Wii mode. Okay, so that's uh, fully there, all ready to go. So the higher you use it, you would be holding it like this. You can put the stock in your shoulder if you want to. You can pull the trigger, hold it here, or hold it here to get those buttons. Reach the top buttons like this. And of course you can aim through that sight. So it's pretty easy to use, very nice to hold, it's pretty comfortable. The only thing I can say bad about that is I wish they kind of would readjust it these some way, or maybe make the handle lower, or done something a bit different. Because when you hold it and you're pressing those, um, it just doesn't feel quite natural. Like this feels pretty natural to hold it there and press those buttons, but holding it here and pressing those buttons doesn't feel very natural or ergonomic. Um, it just kind of loses you on the kind of comfortability factor while this handle is really comfortable the trigger is really nice to pull um, very nice kind of smooth handle the stock is really nice to put against your shoulder um, you know the stock is fine it could have been a bit longer though like um, I find that when I put this against my shoulder there um, I feel like it, it's quite close to my body and this could have been a bit longer to make fix that um, but otherwise it still works okay it doesn't really impend with your gameplay or anything like that um, so I wish they kind of would have fixed this area here and made it maybe a little bit more comfortable to use those buttons as comfortable as the handle, because they made this handle really comfortable. They didn't really make that handle that comfortable. They should have tried somehow implemented this together so that you're holding this and pressing the buttons or something like that. Maybe that would have been better. Um, but that's probably the only bad thing of the layout I can really say. Otherwise the layout is pretty comfortable, especially the handle part and the trigger. feels really nice. Aiming's pretty easy as normal, of course, in the front there. You've got the gap there for the sensor, so it reaches the aim, that's fine. You can aim through the sight if you want to, but you don't really have to. Now, going into the other feature, which I haven't mentioned yet. Um, you noticed before with the magazine here, there's actually two battery slots. 
Now the reason there's two battery slots is because this has actually a sound effect when you pull the trigger. So we install two batteries, they just take AA batteries. Um, let's see, one goes up like that, the other one goes down. Then you install it back into the gun, like that. Now there's a button here that's got a little speaker icon on it. This will turn the sound on and off. So you turn it on. Now the sound is coming out of this here. It's coming out of the actual speaker that's built into the magazine. So it's sort of a sound that probably would come from like a toy gun. That's probably what you're used to hearing that. But if you don't like it, you can just turn it off or not add batteries and no sound. You can turn it on and the sound will play. I mean, it's a cool little novelty that they've added to the gun. Um, and also what I like about the batteries in there, the batteries make the gun feel a little bit more heavier, um, which make it feel a little bit higher quality. Um, it's a high quality gun to begin with, uh, the plastic is just really nice quality, everything's nice quality in this gun. But when you add the batteries, it just adds an extra weight to the gun that actually feels really nice to use and play with. Um, so even if you're not using it, I would still probably recommend adding those batteries just to add that little bit of weight on, which gives it a nice kind of balance when you're actually using it. Um, for me at least, not everyone might, might you might not like the weight, but um, I find it adds that little bit of quality to the gun. But um, the sound effect is optional. It may get annoying after some time, because obviously you've got the game playing, you've got sound effects in the game itself, so you probably might prefer that, especially if you've got a really nice sound setup in your lounge or wherever you've got your Wii console set up. But the sound effect on that is optional. It's there if you want it. You don't have to use it. Uh, you can turn it off or just not add batteries at all, and the sound won't play. But I think it's a cool little thing that they've taken their time to think, okay, we'll add a sound effect just as something a little bit extra, and also we'll make a nice ergonomic kind of handle here, and that, and then they sort of fall off the thing with the way they've designed these buttons right there, and the way you hold it, it's not that comfortable, and the stock could have been a bit longer. But other than those couple of two things that probably could have been a little bit improved, the gun is very nice, it uh, works very well, it's a very high quality it's very high quality for a Wii shell like this is a Wii shell and um, you don't really see these kind of ones at this higher quality usually they're pretty cheap cheap junk basically so to see something that they've actually taken a little bit of effort into they've made it into a cool looking assault rifle and it does look pretty cool it's not just your plain old white it's added, they added a bit of blue to break that up a bit and I have to admit the blue does make it look a little bit more cool than it was just plain white and they've added quite a lot of details to the side of the gun here. So they have done a pretty good job um, at making it a little bit different than just a plain shell. So for that, it's a very good rifle. And of course, uh, this particular bundle, you get the rifle as well as that game. So you get the reload game as well as the extreme assault rifle. And I mean, you don't pay that much for it. Um, on eBay, I think they're selling for about like, on average, about 30 to $40, depending on condition etc um, so I mean for the price it's not that bad at all you're buying a game with it and you're getting the gun as well and this gun is a very high quality Wii gun so overall I would recommend this one it's pretty cool um, it looks pretty cool even when you're not using it um, when you're using it it works well and it doesn't just work with the reload game you can use other shooters on Wii so any game that you can use a gun shell you can use this one no problem whatsoever um, so it is very compatible and it is a pretty cool looking gun. So it looks pretty awesome. Anyway guys, that's about all I can say about this one. Thanks for watching, I am Shocky Gamer. Don't forget to subscribe, I'll have heaps I'll have, have heaps more gaming control and accessory videos up very shortly. If you like this video, hit that like button, really helps out a lot guys. And as always, feel free to leave a comment down below if you want to. And of course, share this video as it helps spread my video around. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.